meteorologist Jamie Warner, certified by WeatherAid for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. All right, another beautiful day. Today, though, was cloud free. We moved that high cloudiness out early this morning and we had sunny skies throughout the day and that meant a clear evening as the sun set across the area. That sun has now dipped below the horizon. Still a bit of fading light out there. Temperatures now just under 70. Winds light out of the south at six miles per hour. Looking at the pattern across the United States, still don't see any big storms out there, although we're seeing the beginnings of a change in the pattern. You can see this big swirl right there and even some showers impacting areas of Washington and Oregon. This is the beginnings of a trough which will be developing in the western U.S. that will eventually lead to a more active pattern for us locally as we get into next week. Uh, yesterday's cloud maker continues to make its way quietly east across the eastern United States for us locally. Uh, again, we're looking at clear skies and we'll find that overnight tonight. Uh, there is going to be a risk for a little bit of patchy light fog out there, especially in the uh, river bottoms and uh, down near the lakes. Otherwise, just a little bit of an increase in moisture and that's actually reflected in like the humidity. A little increase in moisture will lead to probably a few clouds puffing up in the afternoon, especially along and north of I-44 tomorrow. Looking ahead to Saturday as we close out the weekend, headed into the weekend. Uh, again, we could find a bit more patchy fog to start off the day Saturday morning. Otherwise, it looks like we will find probably a, a little better chance for clouds to puff up across the area as we get into the afternoon as we find humidity levels increasing from the south. And again, this is Saturday afternoon. You can see our dew points starting to climb uh, in through the upper 50s and into the low 60s across the area. So you'll probably notice that little uptick in humidity on Saturday and certainly you'll notice it on Sunday and Monday. As far as temperatures tonight, looks like generally upper 40s south of the interstate, low 50s north of the interstate, about 50 for a low here in Springfield with highs tomorrow, which are going to be very similar to what they were today. It uh, looks like on the warm end, maybe 77 on the cooler end, about 73 or 74. And I think here in Springfield, we're going to be right in between at about 75 for the high. And tomorrow evening, if you're going to one of those uh, uh, playoff games, as we uh, begin to wrap up the high school football season, it looks like we are in for a beautiful night. You'll just need a jacket, not a coat, a jacket as temperatures fall from the upper 50s down to about 56 by halftime. And we'll find temperatures tomorrow night very similar to tonight. Looks like upper 40s common to the south of the interstate. I think about 49 here in Springfield with lows around 50 or 51 north of the interstate. And then highs on Saturday, very similar to Friday. You get the idea. It's been a running theme throughout the week. Pleasantly cool at night and then pleasantly warm during the afternoon. And we'll hold on to the warmth through Sunday into Monday. I mentioned how the pattern was changing right now in the western U.S. And here's a look at Monday afternoon. We will have a trough in place across the western U.S. And it still looks like we're going to have a storm moving out of that trough as we work from Monday into Tuesday. Cold front pushing across the area sometime during the day on Tuesday. The timing of it still a little tough to pin down, but it looks like during the day on Tuesday we'll find that cold front moving through. This is going to be a storm that should have quite a bit of wind energy, although maybe out of one general direction. Uh, the, the big, I think, question mark, and I think what's really going to be lacking is the instability. And for that reason, it looks like the severe weather risk will remain very low with the storm system as it moves through on Tuesday. But we'll continue to watch it. It will turn colder in the wake of that storm, but it doesn't look like it's going to be as chilly as we were thinking the last couple of days. Veterans Day, it looks like highs in the low 60s with sunny skies, so a beautiful forecast there. And then Thursday, we'll see the next storm approaching, increasing clouds, and maybe a chance for showers by the end of the day on Thursday. But, Jamie, even your cool off is still above normal for this time of year. Yep, mm -hmm. sure yeah, is. Looking pretty nice. good this next seven days. Mm -hmm. we'll take it. Yeah. Well, one Branson police officer is being honored for his work.